day, I do know what I need to do. I just need to find Eric and really tell him how I feel and lay everything out on the table. I am scared that the last conversation went awry and that we can't kind of get back to that. I don't want to play games. I think I've like worked really hard and have been honest with myself and my feelings, but I've been waiting for the right moment, and this is so clearly the right moment. And now I'm really not afraid to say that I do know what I deserve. I'm getting ready for the rose ceremony, and I'm afraid that I might lose her. I'm in love with Gabby, and this whole process, I've kind of misjudged from the start how hard it is on her. I brought something up that wasn't the right place, right time, and it's something we had already talked about. And for me to just still kind of harp on something that was bothering me, you know how insensitive that is, and I don't know what she's thinking. I'm sweating, and I'm nervous, and I'm shaking, and I don't know what to do. Right now, like, I'm so scared. In the end, I deserve being with someone who isn't afraid to love me. Eric is the only man here, and I think that's what makes it more scary. I can't tolerate any more pain, and I know walking away from him would be what I need to protect myself. I don't... I don't know what's gonna happen. I can't predict anything, and I just am gonna have to see how I feel. If it's my decision to leave here alone, I know it's mine. Hi. 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 How are you? Good. How are you? I'm good. Surprise. Not expecting you. You weren't. No. Oh, yeah, this is your outfit. Um, how are you? I'm good. Good. Are you okay? I'm just gonna jump right in. Yeah, go ahead. Um, this week has, like, been so crazy. Um, and I think I've been learning so much about myself literally every day and every week. And um, I knew it would be hard, everything, but I honestly didn't know it would be this hard. And I, I've been making decisions. You know, the situation when, like, you and I were speaking last was, like, didn't, I don't think, go as planned. It, it was just hard. I don't know. I think we were, like, misunderstanding each other. Um, and I think I was so upset because I was like, why doesn't he just, like, trust us? Going into, you know, my day with Jason, like, I did just need more clarity. Um, and I know he's a private person. So I think we just needed time alone. Um, and having our, our date and our time together, it was the first time I was able to, like, come around to what, knowing what I deserve. But, like, I know in my heart that, like, you fought for me so much and you love in this very secure and comfortable way. Like, you've taught me how, like, I wanted to be treated and that it's okay to, like, ask for those things. You know, sometimes it is hard for me to just, like, take things at face value because of everything that I've gone through. And, but you have, like, taught me that it's okay to, feel safe and wanted and loved in maybe a way that I haven't. And you're the only one left. I know it's like so hard and I think I've felt it for a while, but I do know that I love you. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> this is freaking amazing. <laughs> I'm so happy right now. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best feeling in the world. It's like, all I wanted was this. 
and then you get it, and it's, I just couldn't be happier. And then anybody that I connect with, it's like so easily and like so deeply, like right off the bat. And then I got to know you more and like about who you are and your family and past relationships and how your life hasn't been easy and just made you just like such an amazing woman and I'm so freaking lucky that it is you. I've been waiting so long to tell Eric how I feel. He's been so vulnerable and confident and secure with me. He's the best thing that's ever happened to me and it feels so right. I do have like so many feelings. I'm able to get to this point because you've always made me feel so safe and I like honestly never gotten it before. It has like come from a past and not just like with romantic relationships but in some other ones just having like to ask for those things and you've never made me ask. I think I needed to like process and come to it, you know, on my own terms for it to like make sense because it is so foreign to me. Love you, Gabby. I'm getting emotional. <laughs> it honestly feels like a fairy tale. I just like can't believe that he's on mine. There's no point in having a rose ceremony and it's just you and me. I like some of that. Me too. Eric is definitely the love of my life. I think everything in my life has happened for a reason and all of the arrows and the stars are pointing straight to him. It feels so good, and it feels so incredibly meant to be. I love you, Susan. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> I finally get to live what I thought was only going to be fantasy. Sometimes I'm like, pinch me, because it's way too good to be true.